Hey, what's going on guys? Elite Union here. Today we're going to be showing you another fine episode of Elite Union's tutorials, bitches. Alright. <laughs> oh, shit. Alright. The title says it all. We're going to be showing you how to um, change the NPC names in the game to what you want and change item names to whatever you want as well. Alright. So, NPCs and items. You, you could use one program to do it all, but... I get a little problem, so when I edit a NPC's uh, name, it comes up next to their, next to something else. It says level minus one or minus zero, which is bad because it looks bad. So I'm going to tell you a better way to rename NPCs without doing anything, like barely anything, and renaming item item objects really easy. Items, sorry, not item objects, just items. Yeah. Alright, so to get into it, first you need Frosty's Cache Editor. Frosty's Cache Editor, I'll leave a link in the description below and you can download it from there. Alright, so when you get that, grab it, open it up, and um, it will look like this. So I put mine all in the tools. So, and I renamed it to Cache Editor. Alright, so you want to load the caches in the top right corner here, or click File and find your. Well, actually, you should do it this. What you do is you find your source. Um, there's my source, and then find where your cache is. That's my cache. Or you want to make a backup, so you can just um, um, just copy it to your desktop. But I don't need to because I fucking don't give a fuck. I've got plenty of backups. So yeah, I'm just gonna open that, and this one's for items. All right, so then you just click submit. Alrighty, so now you're in the cache and um. You see all these items and their names and stuff. Alright, so let's figure out one thing I want to change. Um, nah, I don't even know. Hey, what what do I have that I want to change? Just just anything. I hope party hat. So I'm just gonna call this I'm gonna rename it to pink party hat because in game it is called a hope party hat. So let me just quickly get into my game. And uh, I'll show you what it what it's called, the original. Alright, so here we go. Just load up into my game. Look at this mad game. Well, you guys should come check out my RHPS. I'm not even joking. It's beast as, man. Got some mad ass fucking features in it and shit. So if you guys don't check it out, use all homos. And yeah. Alrighty, bruh. Alright, I've got to pause the video here because I've got to put my security pin in because, you know, I can't see, let you guys see that shit. Alright, I'm back. That was quick. Alright, so, uh, what else? Okay, hope party hat. So, hope party hat. Alright, so the item ID is item 2993. Alright, so I have it already. It's called hope party hat and I want to change the name of that. Even the examine, which doesn't really matter, but it, you know, you, you just want to change the name. That's easy. You just have it in your inventory. Um, then you change it. All right, once you change, once you set that to what you want it, um, I'm just gonna quickly put a price on it. I'm just gonna put 1.8 bill. Alright, then click save. Um, you yeah, don't have to worry about anything. Just the name, and then. Close it. Um, all right, and then it'll be named Pink Party Hat. Uh, you don't have to close this. What you do is you just go back into your source, um, reboot it. So I'm just gonna quickly log it out. I showed it close the whole client because when you update, you have to close the whole client. Right, reload the whole client. Yeah, reload the client. Oh my god, I'm, I lost my English today. I'm sorry guys, I just can't do this. Fuck. Man, I'm terrible at these tutorials. I'm trying my best here to help you guys out. Just doesn't cut it, does it? But yeah, if this helps, man, you better subscribe. You better show me some love here. Alright, so you log back in the game. And you log back in. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet today. I might sound loud on the microphone, but I'm actually like whispering because my mum's asleep. I don't, don't want to wake her up. Oh shit, I asked. <laughs> fuck, I forgot to pause the video. God damn it, I'm gonna have to change it now. Ye -ye, fuck, that's alright, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh shit, that was funny. 
Right, so there we go, it's now pink party hat instead of hope party hat. So that's how you change an object, oh sorry, an item, a different name, and you can do it for any item in the game. You can even change a bucket to a, um, to a, uh, chicken leg, I don't know, just rename a bucket to a chicken leg, I don't know, just, you can rename anything. Besides objects, I don't know how to do that, which I want to, but yeah, I haven't figured out how to do that yet. I just know how to change items and NPC names. Alright, so I'm going to show you two ways of doing the NPC names. Alright, so this way is the cache way. So you just can close, you can close that, and then go back here and then just click on NPC. So you don't have to re-import the cache as it's already been imported unless you've closed it. But if you closed it, you won't be able to open it. So it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> Alright, so here it is. Here's all the NPCs in this cache. Now, what you could do is you could just look for the cache and edit it and rename it. But when you do that, this is what happens. See that? Level minus one x four, which I don't want. I just want that. You know, skill cape shop instead of is that? That's the wise old man. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So let me just have a look for his ID. So that's two two five three. Let's go to two two five three. 2253, there it is. See, it's still named Wise Old Man. 2253, but it's actually Skill Cape Shop. There it is, 2253, right there. And it still says Wise Old Man, but the name itself just says Skill Cape Shop. So it'd be really handy if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, like, get your shops going, like Melee Shop, Rain Shop, Maid Shop, re rename your uh, NPC, like Grand Exchange V1, and you know what I mean now. Alright, so let's get to the, let's get to the point. So let's not do it this way, and let's do it this way. Alright, so go into your source, and then look for npc.java. Alright, once you open npc.java, you just want to go down to a part, because every, every RSPS must have this part. I mean, I haven't come across an RSPS that doesn't have this yet. You should see like something like this somewhere between quarter way of the document just keep scrolling down and you'll see something like this or even leave it in the description below what you could what you could do is press ctrl f and search for like um uh like set random walk and then like if you like let's say you're at the top and you didn't know where to look so you could just type that and then you could find it and just keep looking until you see oh look there's that that looks like what what um, Elite Union said, so yeah, we'll, we'll copy that. So yeah, I'll even I'll even put this in the description below, as I said, and you guys can copy that and just shove it in. It should work. If it doesn't, use Eclipse. Don't be a fucking noob. <laughs> but yeah, right, this is, I'm a noob, so I can't be a hypocrite on this. You just want to press Control C, Enter, Enter, and then you'll have a nice average space here. You paste it in there, and you want to find out the NPC's ID. So to find out an NPC's ID, you can easily just go on game and then examine them. Now most RSPSs have that feature, but if your RSPS doesn't have it, well I don't know what you're going to do, but you might have to Google the NPC ID. It shouldn't be too hard, I mean if you don't know how to find out that NPC ID, it's not even worth you trying to do anything. <laughs> Alright, so now you got that bit done, uh, you just want to, you know, you don't want the ID of what you want to change it to, so let's say I want to change your... Uh, yeah, yeah, let's change this one. Um, one three six four nine. If you just put one three six four nine, and you just set the name to like test five hundred. Set random false. So what this means, set random walk. That means uh, if it, if you want the NPC to randomly walk around. Like for example, I got this uh. NPC at home, his, um, it's the Elite Escape's finest guy, and when you talk to him, he yells out, Elite Escape, protect and serve, yeah, okay, fuck yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what he says, right, and, uh, I renamed him, I even, like, got his, uh, examine, right, the protector of Elite Escape vows to sacrifice his life to save players among him, yes, alright, so we got that, alright, so, yeah, level 1, level 10k, shit, he'll fuck anyone up, <laughs> Alright, let's get back to what I was doing. I kind of forgot, but yeah, uh, yeah. Alright, so that's what that's what random fault. If you set that to true, they'll walk randomly. If you set the false, they won't walk at all. They'll stay in, they'll stay in the spot where you spawn them. Alright, so you just want to save that. 
don't know why I still, I think I had that from the last tutorial, alright, so you say that, you want to compile, compiling the leadscape files, as I said guys, come check out my RSPS, we are in need of players, like look me, I am the only one online, this is terrible, <laughs> it's online, it's fucking online, alright, just waiting, alright, sweet, compile, finish, see how it sound, and then I'm gonna quickly log out. Uh, reload source. Alright, now that I'm logged into my lobby and log in. Uh, you guys already know it, so might as well just type it in. And, oh, the fuck? It didn't change. That's odd. But yeah, it does change. I guarantee you. I've changed all every NPC, but it's weird that that one didn't change. Um, oh, wait, 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 wait. My bad. I just remembered why it didn't work. Um, oh, whoops, I remember. Can't see two screens. <laughs> uh, 13649 is already in here somewhere. 13649. There it is, how to elite escape. And I tried to name it to test 500. Right, but now you know that that's a definite work. Like as you can see, it's still it's right here. How to elite skate. The only reason why it it still did that level one is because as you can see, it says learn next to it. Like on the left side, learn how to elite skate instead of talk to. Because I thought it'd be cool if I put like learn how to elite skate. Because well, when you talk to it, I made a little dialogue where you can just like go through them and just check like how you do summoning and even got the NPCs next to them. The construction guy and the cooking guy. Look, man, it's dope RSPS. But yeah, that's that's giving you a few ideas here. Yeah? Uh, but yeah, the, that's how you rename an, an NPC and rename a item in your RSPS the easiest way, or well, probably the easiest way. I don't, I'm not sure. <sighs> All right. So we're at the end of the video, and I just want to say you should better subscribe because I need the subscribers. Um hungry for some attention so yeah you do that okay all right later bitches